it's me and today I want to do a quick review for you guys. I don't I don't know when the last time I actually did a makeup product review was. Like I usually just talk about stuff in my favorites and all that, but there are a few products that just came out that you guys have asked me about and this one isn't one of them, but this is one that when I was at Sephora, I was just like I really want to try that. So I really wanted to share this with you guys because I know a lot of you guys are a lot like me and you don't like to put a lot of stuff on your actual face face, like on your skin, like foundations and all of that. And so when I saw this product released, I was like, this would be a perfect product to share with you guys if it is indeed a good product. So you know me, I'm a Sephora girl. I feel confident shopping there because I know if I don't like a product or it doesn't work well with my skin or something, you know, isn't up to par you know I can always exchange it for a different color or a different product so I went in there and I picked up the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream and the brush that goes with it which this is called a smoothing face brush this you don't have to use with it you can use this product with just your hands and your fingers but just for the sake of just trying the brush I wanted to do that because I know there will be somebody who's like have you tried the brush with it does the brush work and so this way I can be like yes or no the brush does or does not work bare minerals complexion rescue is a tinted moisturizer gel like it I just said obviously and what it is is it's basically supposed to be something like a CC cream a BB cream and a tinted moisturizer all in one you guys know I love my tinted moisturizers right now I'm using Laura Mercier's tinted moisturizer in the color ochre and I absolutely love it but I don't love the price tag of it. It's super expensive. I wanna say it's almost 40 something dollars or maybe more than that. This stuff is only actually $29 for when you get this size bottle and the brush is 28. A little bit better in regards to price and also this says it's supposed to, you know, help your complexion and all of that. The difference between this hydrating gel over the, you know, other tinted moisturizers is Bare Mineral says that they've reversed the process of the moisturizer. So I guess instead of having the hydration and the water inside I don't know this is I'm just repeating what they said instead of having the water inside of the formula the water is on the outside so all the pigment and all of that stuff is on the inside whereas the formulas are the hydration and the water is on the outside so the mineral waters hit your face first to hydrate and then the color goes on after when you apply this who knows if any of that is true we will see this has a broad spectrum SPF of 30 so it is going to be really good for the summertime that is when I really like tinted moisturizers during the summer because sometimes you just do not want to put a whole lot of stuff in your face because you'll sweat it off so this is what the product looks like it's really nice packaging I really like it and this is what the brush looks like it's very soft what it has is it's got short bristles and it's got long bristles so it's got a very fine just feathery feel and it's just super soft the bristles that are short are supposed to help put the product into your skin and then the longer bristles are supposed to help smooth it in to give you that kind of airbrushed finish so the color that I got is tan 07 in this it's kind of the first color that I gravitated to they have 10 different colors to supposedly fit everybody's face I do believe that bare minerals as you guys know was my go-to mineral powder foundation since high school I just recently stopped using it and the only reason was because my other stuff I'd had for way too long and it probably expired because you can seriously it takes me a long time to get through those powder pots so I mean I just wanted to try something new which is why I went to tinted moisturizer so if this stuff is really good I'm excited because I will move from my Laura Mercier probably to this depending on what the outcome is just because I am looking for something cheaper and I am looking for something a little bit healthier for my skin and bare minerals always does a really good job of that so right now I have a completely bare face like I just got out of the shower I threw my hair up into this top knot I threw some clothes on and really just wanted to do this review for you guys to get it up because I know this just released in stores this past weekend I wanted to show you guys kind of like what kind of skin type I have and what I'm working with as you guys can tell I don't have a lot of problem areas I don't have a lot of scarring anywhere I do have some scarring on my forehead from uh, chicken pox when I was in the orphanage and scar uh, scarring from just zits and all of that. I do have wrinkles. I have dry spots and patches like in these areas. I have some right here and a bunch on my forehead near my hairline and then a little bit right here. So I am going to have to use obviously moisturizer under this tinted moisturizer. Some people can get away with just using a tinted moisturizer. I can't do that. One of the reviews I did see about this product was that it doesn't cling on to dry spots. That's another reason why I was really compelled to go try it because Laura Mercier sometimes if I don't moisturize enough, if I don't use the primer before, it does tend to cling on to the dry spots and kind of make them more obvious. As you can see, I have a pretty good base to work with. I don't need full coverage, but this is a buildable coverage, which is another thing that looked appealing. So if you do have more uneven skin tones or maybe scarring or pimples, you can add more to build up the 
the coverage where in, in a lot of tinted moisturizers what you see is what you get. So I'm gonna start off just doing my normal routine before I usually put any type of tinted moisturizer on. I'm gonna start with using my Benefits Instant Comeback Facial Serum and I just kind of spread it on my face and then I'm gonna take a cotton pad and I'm gonna take my moisture prep stuff. This is by Benefit as well. And I just take one little dab like that and then I'm gonna apply this all over my face. Next I'm gonna take my Ultra Pair uh, Face Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. I'm just gonna rub that into my face. I thought about using a primer today but I just I don't want to because I want to just see actually what the tinted moisturizer on its own is like because I know a lot of people don't like using primers. I'm gonna try this using the brush instead of my fingers. I know that you know most people doing foundation reviews use like two different techniques or a few different techniques but for the sake of just this I just want to see what the brush can do. So what you're supposed to do is use a pea-sized amount either if you're using your fingers or the brush and if you're using the brush you're supposed to use a pea-sized amount on the brush. So so I think that's a pea size, so there's my pea sized amount. That'd be awesome if that's all you need because this is not a huge package, so I wonder how long I can get it to last. And then I'm just going to rub it in, I guess, so, oh, feels nice. Oh, that feels really nice. Wow. That feels so nice. The brush feels so nice on my skin. Another reason why I like tinted moisturizers versus foundation is because foundation tends to be more cakey because it's thicker and stuff and again it usually is not very moisturizing so it does cake on to your dry spot areas and I don't like the look of that. I know foundation looks really good on camera but I don't really care what I look like on camera or when taking pictures. I want to look good in person, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want people being like, well, she looked better on camera. I want people to be like, oh, she looks normal and pretty in person. So, I like tinted moisturizers for that reason. That pea-sized amount really went a long way with the brush, so that is pretty impressive. So I didn't put any on my neck because I just want to show you guys what the color match is. It's pretty spot on, like, that's pretty spot on to my actual color. I'll put a little bit down just for the sake of there's some in my brush still, but that's a pretty accurate color for me. Again, tinted moisturizers are a little bit more forgiving as well with colors, so you can be a little bit off. Like, I can probably use this and pull it off during the summer when I get tanner just because they are kind of sheer and then just use a bronzer to build up the warmth when I do get more tan. So I do like that. Tinted moisturizers can be are more versatile, I should say. There's no clinging to any dry spot. I'm gonna get real close to you guys. There's no clinging to any dry spots at all. It's evened out my skin tone a little bit. It's taken away some of the redness underneath here. I like that. I like it a lot. It feels good. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It's a little bit shiny, so obviously I'll need to use a powder, but that's nice. I'm gonna put a little bit more because it is supposed to be a buildable coverage. So let's try putting a little bit more on and see what happens. Buildable coverage, in my mind, that just means more cakey. So we'll see if I adding more makes it feel grosser or more cakey. Let's see. I should probably put more on them there. Buildable coverage. I like it. I like it a lot. That is nice. That, I like that. I think I like this more than the Laura Mercier. And I only say that just because of the, the only thing I, the reason why I like this more than the Laura Mercier is because I don't need to use as much, whereas I feel like with the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer I have to use more because it's not as hydrating. Whereas this is super hydrating. Like I feel like my face feels really moisturized right now. It's nice. It's not sticky. My dry spots have pretty much absorbed all of the, like, it's not sticking to my dry spots. That's the most important thing. This brush is amazing. Like, even if you're not using the tinted moisturizer, I would highly suggest this just as a foundation brush, like, just picking this up. It's, I don't usually like stippling brushes. I don't really know how to use them, but this is, like, the best of both worlds between, like, a powder brush or, like, a powder foundation brush and a stippling brush. Like, it's so soft. It's so easy to use and it just smooths in the product. Like I, I don't even have any more product on here. I'm just using this because it feels good on my skin at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup just to show you guys kind of what it looks like after I put concealer on and my eye makeup on and all of that. Because that's an another important thing. You want to make sure it reacts well to like powders and blushes and bronzers and all of that. I don't know if I would suggest this for super, super oily skinned people because it might be a little bit too much moisture for you, but definitely for oily to combination skin or dry skin. Like this is 
this is nice. So I'm going to go do my makeup and I'll be right back. So I'm back and I have done my bronzer, my contouring, my highlighting, my blush, my eyes, my eyebrows. I've done all of that. I did set everything after I used my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer for my under eye. I did set everything with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. It's a really nice fine milled powder so it doesn't cake on or anything. And I used my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette for my contouring and then a MAC blush and then just my usual hourglass highlighter. So I really like the way that all of my products that I would normally use blended on to my bare, the Bare Minerals uh, gel. It, it looks really nice. I think it looks really nice. It wears really nice. I didn't use a setting spray at all and it just, I didn't have to overly powder either. My face doesn't feel greasy. I just used that translucent powder. I didn't do anything else. And I think it looks really good. I think the coverage is really nice. It's a little bit more because I did do two things or two swipes on my face. Um, it is a little bit more built up coverage than the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, which I like for when I do want to have a little bit more coverage. But it, I would not go as far to say that it does full coverage because you can still see a little bit of my breakout going on underneath here. Granted, if I would have maybe done a third swipe around there, maybe it would have disappeared or if I would have used concealer. But I'm that type of person who kind of likes a little bit of flaws looking, you know, standing out just a little bit just to make my face look a little bit more natural. But I really like this stuff. I will say that as long as it still continues to be really easy on my skin and whatnot doesn't cause any damage or weird breakouts I I'm this might be what I move to for my Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer after I'm done with it I really really like this combination oh, and the brush is it, the brush is amazing so I would highly suggest these things again the moisturizer itself was $28 I believe or $29 and the brush was 28 you don't need the brush you could use any other type of stippling brush I've heard I just wanted to see what this brush was like and I'm I'm actually really glad I bought it just just because it works really well. There you have it. Let me know what you guys think or if you're gonna pick this stuff up. You can tell me honestly if my face looks okay or better or worse in your opinion. Um, if you like product reviews like this, let me know. I just really wanted to share this project with you guys because again, Bare Minerals is something that's been close to my heart since high school and the fact that they're coming out with kind of cool stuff like this is just really appealing to me. And I know a lot of you moms like the natural look and or like a little bit of minimal makeup look and I think this is just perfect for you guys. So thanks for watching as always. Again, if you like these videos, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below and or subscribe if you want and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!